My wife and I were married for maybe a little over a year. Uh, we got our marriage off completely backwards. I, I'm a recovered drug addict, alcoholic. We got pregnant before marriage. We did a lot of things completely wrong. We were bouncing around different churches, trying to find a good church home to raise our child in. And we were leaving Bellevue one Sunday morning and my wife said, hey, why don't we try out a small group? Why don't we try out a Sunday school class? The first thought that came through my head was being a little kid and walking into a Sunday school classroom and having everybody in the room turn and stare at you and whisper and, hey, who's the new kid? And thinking, how quick can I get out of there? And it was one of those moments where I kind of stopped and panicked and thought, wait a minute, I'm not, I'm not eight anymore. I was about 27, 28. I'm a grown man. I've got my wife. What's the harm? What could, what could possibly happen up there that I couldn't handle within the next hour. So we walked over to the information desk and asked the lady about a young married Sunday school class. And the lady said, hey, there's a great one about to start right now. And the teacher's name is Eric Brand. Um, needless to say, my life's never been the same since. We walked in that room and immediately felt the warmth and the love, and, and I mean, it was, those are such cliche words, but I mean, it was so genuine. I mean, everybody in the room was just so real. I started seeing a Jesus in that room through Eric and through the other men in that room that I wanted to be closer to. I, I saw a real Jesus Christ, not the one that I had thought I knew as a kid or, or had, you know, read about occasionally. I, I, this was the real Jesus, the one that they all had relationships with, the one they all knew personally. Well, God convicted me enough that I knew I needed to be honest and open and transparent, so um, a group of men that surrounded me and loved on me. One, one morning, we used to meet for breakfast. I broke down and I just cried and I told them, I said, you know, uh, I'm addicted to drugs. I'm addicted to alcohol. And instead of pushing me out or thinking I was some kind of freak because I was a, a drug addict and an alcoholic, they just said, hey man, there's nothing we can't do together. Nothing we can't get solved with Christ. And my life took off from there. I, I mean, literally to this day, some of those guys are my closest friends. Uh, to this day, and that's been over 10 years ago now. Um, I go on four mission trips. I serve here at the church every time I get a chance. Uh, I love to tell people about my story. I love to share Jesus with people and tell people that he can make a difference in their lives. And all of it's because of the, the love that I found in that room. I think about the circumstances had they been different, had I walked in that room and there been a click or had there been a, a group of folks that didn't want to talk and my wife and I would have come in and sat by ourselves and there's no telling where I'd be right now. My name is Mike Cornelius and that was my red chair story. <laughs>